first they were the Ruin Radio, me, Mr. Magic, and Marley Mark. And basically, nobody would touch rap music at that time. It was like underground, people hated it, and especially musicians. That's where we got the most flack from because guys just came and basically took their music and cut that sh cut it up and made records. And then you had some guy rapping over it, which, you know, singers, they took all of this singing, voice, vocal lessons, whatever, whatever. Some guys are kicking it. But to me, it was something nice because it's like poetry with a beat underneath it. Right. And, mm -hmm. and basically, I was always into hip-hop rap at the time. Mm -hmm. For those that don't know, tell the people how you got down with the Juice Crew. Oh, Biz Markie, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm from Long Island, and Biz is from Long Island. He, 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 he said he's from Jersey, but he's from Long Island. But he was he had a, he had a production deal, and he thought he, he heard some of my shit. He was like, yo, he called me. That was it, the rest was history. The 80s and 90s was, was strong with battle rap. Why didn't we ever get that battle between you and Rakim? Um, I couldn't tell you why we never, you know, got it. Um, um, I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, you know, that really wasn't even the battle I was looking for. You know, I always thought that, like, you know, like me and Carlos would be a real exciting battle because, you know, he's a, um, he's a battle MC, you know. Um, Rakim, you know, great phenomenal lyricist. Um, I don't, you know, I don't really know how he does, you know, in the battlefield. Though. But I know the KRS One is a like a true battle competitive MC. So that would have been the one that I think would have been very interesting. You know, like a song with me and Rakim would have probably been better. I think, you know, that would have probably been, you know, the better thing for the people. But um, I have nothing but love and respect for both of them brothers, man. Great lyricists, and I'm honored to say that, you know, I shared an error with them, you know. Everybody screwed up after they saw this, you know, what we did, the fire of the Juice Crew. So the impact that we had, I mean, it's everlasting. Let's do it. Watch Star Wars just to see. 
How important is it just to have a lane for old school hip hop today, man? You know, we so we so watered down with the with the new era. No, you know, big shouts out to everybody who's doing their thing. But just to still have a lane for the old school cats like myself and just have, you know, good shows and stuff. Well let me let me let me like do the science to it because it's science to it. We're comfortable being called old school and it's a beautiful thing because we're around and we still good. But when they're young, they don't want to connect to anything old. And you know when you was young, you didn't want to connect to nothing old. See what I'm saying? So if we don't, if we stop labeling it old school, name it that classic hip hop, the golden era, they're gonna, they're gonna respect it. Yeah, we still here live at BB Kings. I happen to catch up with somebody who came out to enjoy the show right now. But I just wanted to ask you one question, man. The symphony, who you thought really, really ripped it? Yeah, but they was all great rappers. Right. All great rappers. But I think Master Ace killed it though. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying, put it down. Cool J rap, he did his thing too. Everybody did their thing. But I think Master Ace killed that J though. I'ma hit you again. I'll push up a voice to explain the crowd.